Mark, welcome to my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. Um, with the weather getting hotter and hotter and hotter in the West, um, today we are going to start the investigation of the uh, Achilles heel of the Tab trailers, that air conditioner. Now there's nothing wrong with that air conditioner. Um, it's a 5,000 BTU unit, um, should be plenty big to deal with it with that small trailer size. But it's a window unit and they've put it inside a little box. That thing can't breathe. Everybody knows that. Um, but I wanted to find out <laughs> how bad is it? So today I'm gonna take this vent off, set that down. I wanna take a look. Now, they've done all kinds of stuff here. This air conditioner blows air out here and has to suck air into the sides and along the top but it can't because it's in this little cabinet so what what they've done is they've tried to take this vent area and separate it they've got these little dividers see these little guys they made out of aluminum tape um trying to force this air here out here and get air in on the sides but the problem is if you look at this gap see how far back that separator is the hot air from here blows right out doesn't even come out the vent face it goes right around and back into the hot right around and back into the hot some of it that makes it out the the face of the vent also goes back <laughs> right back in this is a high suction area and this is a high suction area and this is a pressure area so it's just doing this circle thing that makes this uh air conditioner when it may be 100 degrees outside the air conditioner is operating 120 130 140 degree temps it's no wonder it can't cool but the here's the interesting thing i had thought let me back up a little bit about making that air conditioner opening that up a little bit the, the open the opening making it a little bigger and putting that air conditioner on slides so it could slide out and be a window air conditioner again but here's the rub the air conditioner is taller than this the air conditioner is taller it goes down farther than this edge of this window it goes down farther than the edge of the window and up higher than this trim piece will allow so there's no way to get this guy out so whatever i do i've got to be able to deal with that but there's something really the most bizarre thing i think i've seen in a long long time and something that's really weird but gave me a spectacular id let's take a look at the roof of this thing now those of you that have done any roofing you know what that is um that's a a vent that's supposed to be a sewer vent um but i noticed that there's no pipes down there so what what the heck is this doing that's my um that's my um, ceiling fan, the fantastic fan there. And here's this vent. They cut this four inch hole. You can take this top off and you can see that they've got a piece of screen on it. And it's about an inch and a quarter in diameter. What are they doing? Let's take a look. I'm gonna sit my camera, put my camera up in there. We're gonna go in there and look up and over and see what that vent is doing. Here we go. Now look at that. There's the vent. They're just, they're trying to get cold air <laughs> through that little hole in that pipe. They're trying to get, trying to help this air conditioner out. If you see, there are vents on the top. 
there are vents on the side and when you look at the vents on the side you can see that they are the same they connect all one big space there the same is true over here when i come over here and go inside of this guy you can see there's the vent that they put on the ceiling um there are the vents in the top of the guy and here's the side vent so that gave me a spectacular idea. We're gonna go in and we're gonna talk about the actual dimension of this and work out some math to make sure that I'm not going crazy. But if, if I could take these separators out, move this air conditioner back, and dedicate this entire vent surface to just exhaust so it's not being shared with intake, right? This is a certain area. This is a certain area. And it seems to me that if I do this right, I can use this entire vent area for exhaust vent and it won't be restrictive at all. It'll all hot air will be coming out here. So where's this air conditioner gonna get? It's cold air. Well, that's what this guy gave me an idea. See my fantastic vent over there? What if I put a fantastic, another fantastic vent right here, right on the, in the roof, just like that one, right? But right here, that would allow cold air to come in the top, go through and hit the top, go into the top vents, go around and go in the side vents and vent that entire area. That entire area would be vented and all the hot air would come this way with no chance of the hot air that's coming out getting back into the intake. We would dedicate this entire vent on the outside to being outbound and build a whole new vent in the top with a motor on it. You know, one of those motorized ones that goes beep. So when you turn the air conditioner on, the vent opens up, pulls cold air in from the top, blows it out from the side. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of math. Let's head on in and uh, talk about what we've got. I made some measurements with tape measure so um, we can see if this is all going to make sense. Anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back inside. Um, we're going to do, I did a bunch of measurements out there and we're going to talk about how bad is it. <laughs> um, in measuring, the air conditioner itself is... 16 inches wide by 12 inches tall. It has a one inch border around it. A little, oh, the case. And here, these are the vent fins. So this whole thing here, this is the exhaust vent. And the exhaust vent itself is 14 by 10. So the exhaust fan itself is 14 wide by 10 tall. If we do the math on that, that's 140 square inches. Now, those of you that have done any HVAC work know that you, that you can't blow air through a pipe that you can't get. So the, if we want this to be efficient and work right, if we've got 140 square inches of exhaust air, we have to have 140 inches of intake air, right? You can't blow air into a box if you can't get that air out of the box. <laughs> so, the, let's take a, a look at the vent. The vent itself on the outside of the vent is 22 inches wide by 10 inches tall, but it has a big fat border around it. So the actual venting area of the, of the vent itself that's on the outside is 18 inches by six and a half. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty small, but they also take that, and that's not all exhaust, right? When we looked at this guy, we looked at this guy, that's, that's, it's supposed to have 140 square inches of exhaust, but they've taken this 18 by six and a half inch vent and they split its purposes. Half of it, or some of it, is used for intake air. So when we work out the, the, final, the, 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 the final numbers on everything here, what this works out to is the exhaust vent, all of the air coming out of that, 
that air conditioner is only 10 and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. That is 78.75 square inches. Now you know that it's supposed to have 140, but they've only give, they squashed it down into 78. That's about half, but it gets worse. The intake air vents are squeezed down. The two intakes, you know, that are sitting on the side of that vent, that, you know, the air's going in the sides. Those two intakes are only two inches wide by 7.5 tall. So you do the math on that, that's 15 square inches on this side and 15 square inches on this side. Our total of 30 square inches of intake vent. So this trailer was supposed to have 140 square inches of ventilation, right? The intake vents are supposed to be the same size as the exhaust vents, it's supposed to be at 140. 14 by 10. Instead, it's 30 inches. They've gone from 140 to 30. So what is that? That's almost five times smaller than it's supposed to be. <laughs> five times more restrictive than it's supposed to be. That is way, <laughs> that's, if you're asking the question, how bad is it? That's how bad it is. They've taken an air conditioner that needs 140 square inches of ventilation and they've, they've worked it down to just 30 square inches. And it gets worse. It gets worse than that. As we showed in the, in the um, outside, this vent, right? This is the exhaust vent and there's air coming out and that's the intake. Remember how we talked about air that goes right across here? Guess what? That's seven and a half tall by 1.5 wide, right? So of this, right? So you've got some circulation going <laughs> like that, hot air to cold. Of this 30 inches that, it, that, it, that they've given it, they've taken it from 140 and they've gone down to 30, half of that is hot recirculated air. It's not even the cool air from outside. So this whole air conditioner has 15 square inches of fresh air flowing through it, not 140. Almost a factor of 10 to one. It can only breathe one tenth of what it's supposed to. That's why these air conditioners are not keeping our tab trailers um, cool. So my solution, the outside vent of this, this air conditioner, I'm looking to produce 140 square inches of, of cooling for this guy. I'm gonna dedicate that outside vent to all of it, which is fine. I have more than a, that vent itself being 18 by seven and a half, right? That outside vent, if it's, instead of sharing it between the intake and the exhaust, if I run just exhaust here, that vent is larger than 140 square inches. So if I can put a vent on top in one of those um, fantastic fans, um, don't need the motor part, just need the cover, and if I can find one that is 14 inches by 10 inches, I'll get the exact right size of air flowing in as flowing out. The air will go in the top of the trailer and come out the side of the trailer. No mixing going on and no restriction going on. So that's where we're going to go next. I'm going to close this video up. I'm going to go search online and see if I can find anything on a trailer vent that's 14 by 10. Um, that's where we're going to go. That'll cool this guy big time. So in the final, final analysis, I'll put the vent on the top and I'll fix these so that all of this air is, is being blown out. I don't need to share any going in. You remember when you saw the top of that air conditioner, it had vents in the top and the sides. This thing will, the air will come down out 
of the fantastic van hit the top of the air conditioner some will go in there it'll go around the sides and some will go in there it should breathe really really nice so anyway that's what we're going to do close this video up thanks for watching i'll i'll put a second video up um when i actually start to do the work thanks for watching bye bye